Hey loves, it's your girl Dutchie Bees here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm actually here with my one week trip to Milan, Italy. I'm basically gonna talk about places that you must visit, places that I didn't go but would recommend that you go. We got to see a lot of nice things. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the notifications button so you know when I post my videos. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. All the links will be down below. So this flight was very exhausting. We got back about two weeks ago and I know I have been, it's been delayed for me to make this video, but you guys, literally I came back. Easter was like right around the corner. I missed my boy's spring break. So I try to make it up to them. I also had my son's first birthday that I had to plan everything was bundling up on me and I was jet lagged for like a week because the time difference in Milan is six hours. It did take me about a week uh, and so to adjust back to the time here in the US and it was just exhausting. Okay, so basically for day one, what we did, we weren't aware, we literally did not think about the time difference, you guys. So when we got there, it was hilarious because I was so ready to check into this room. I was so ready to just shower and just lay on this bed that when we got there, it was eight in the morning, eight or nine in the morning, and they didn't let us check in until two o'clock in the afternoon. Luckily, when we got there, the guy behind the counter let us keep our luggage there until it was time for us to check in because uh, I was I was exhausted. So here's a little recap of day one. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going after. Oh yeah. Because we had to go from Charlotte, from to, New York, Charlotte New to New York and then New York to Italy. So we got here at 6.30 in the morning and then we had to get a cab to our hotel so they can tell us that we can't check in until 2 o'clock. So now it's like a hot mess and we're here getting coffee. And I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So my husband got a um, Irish coffee, which is Irish whiskey coffee with brown sugar and cream. Sounds delicious. And, and then I got un cappuccino. So let's see if that hits. Say hello, beautiful. Hey. <laughs> How you feeling? Tired. <laughs> and my ass is numb. And my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this marvelous hotel which I love it had an overview the hotel was located in central Milan and there is this beautiful uh, historic train station it is the central train station in Milan and you guys it is massive it is like words can explain how beautiful this building is I was fascinated and when my husband uh, picked the perfect room to stay in because I kid you not it had a like overview and outlook to this beautiful historic building and I just woke up to it every day and just smiled and it was I'm not even exaggerating you guys I know it sounds so cliche so weird but I was like cheesing the entire time I would wake up I'm like oh my goodness I wish I could wake up to this every day but you know So uh, just a quick recap for day one, um, we were very exhausted. So we ended up going to uh, walk around in the train station. I told my husband like, we need to enjoy every little detail um, while we're here. And he agreed and it was beautiful. We ended up getting a poke bowl and then we went straight to the hotel. And I kid you not, you guys, we were so exhausted that that was our first day. In reality, I always see these videos about people saying that food is cheap, everything's cheap over there. Um, realistically, when we got there, uh, food was about the same price. It, 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 it literally depends on where you're at because we ended up getting lost in a couple areas um, intentionally because we wanted to kind of venture out and kind of like 
get a full glimpse of like back roads and stuff like that. And we weren't scared. Everybody there is like very, very fun friendly. I can't do that here in the US because I feel like I'm going to get mugged. But <laughs> when we were going into the back roads and I was like, oh, I want a gelato. Like maybe I want an espresso. Maybe I want something to drink. Literally those little back roads, things are really cheaper than in central Milan. Okay, so now I would say for day two was one of our most exhausting days. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but I do express, and I will express it again, you need to wear shoes that are very comfortable. We walked five to seven miles every day while we were there. And I did take comfortable shoes. I took my mom's shoes that I bought from Target. Very, very, very important to always take very comfortable shoes. Uh, anywhere you go it doesn't have to be in Italy we ended up taking advantage of the entire day you guys this is a day two is definitely the day where we actually did so much in one day and I kind of regret that because I just wanted to see everything we were already in that area and I was like oh if we go around this corner we'll go here we'll run into that you know and honestly I regret it because I wish I would have taken the time, relaxed more, taken more photos, taking more videos. But you guys, I was so excited and I was just taking in everything that I honestly forgot to take photos and videos of a lot of things, including my outfits. I looked so cute while I was over there. Um, we ended up going through a lot of things really quick and I kind of regret not taking the time to like just take in the views and everything, even though I did. Um, and I feel like that's why I forgot to take a lot of photos and videos, but definitely keep that in mind. The first place that we went was Porta Magenta. Going to, it was mostly a cathedral. It was like a church, uh, a Catholic church, and it's called Piazza Santa Maria della Grazia. And it's so beautiful. And here are clips of that. we left the cathedral we ended up running into a place called Porta Magenta and it's beautiful the next place after we left that place was I'm, I'm not, I I'm gonna butcher it, but I'm definitely gonna insert all the names so you guys know what they look like. So you can screenshot if you are taking a future trip to Italy. It's called Senacolo Inciano, I think. <laughs> Anyways. So the second museum that we went to
now there is this place that we wanted to go to so bad that I really, really wanted to go into, but we weren't aware that you had to buy tickets day before because it takes about two hours before you can go into this place and we were not prepared. It is called Leonardo da Vinci's Vineyard. I wanted to go the next day, but we already had the entire week planned out, but we weren't aware. Definitely do your homework. Uh, make sure you call places to see if you can do reservations or if you can buy tickets prior to going to your destination. So after the museum, we ended up going to a beautiful fragrance store called The Essence of Florence. buying my facial uh rose mist oh my god that stuff i have it on right now and it gives you a beautiful glow it is magic unicorn piss in a bottle like i don't even know how to explain it i wake up sometimes like this is so hilarious right for me to say but i'd be waking up tired sometimes and i kid you not once i do my makeup and i spray this freaking angel dust angel breath angel sweat on my face I wake up immediately. I feel refreshed. I feel like going for a jog, but I don't because like the makeup. <laughs> I feel like a magic unicorn. I'm just like, girl, where did you get all this energy from? Besides the two cups of coffee you had previously, but mm, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Not, I will show you the bottle and the package. And we, my husband ended up buying me something else. So the guy was trying to explain to me that these little candle... Uh, like little soap looking bars you put these in your underwear drawer or in your closet and they make all of your clothes smell amazing and then some lotion that they have too for your face ended up using it up i can't show you any i can't show you that but you guys i'm so happy and i keep thanking him for everything because i look good fragrance place we ended up walking a little places um within that area just beautiful stores very unique all the stores over there are separated so you'll have your shoe store you'll have your fragrance store you'll have your grocery store but every store has its own niche which is amazing because like when we were walking down this um this whole street everything was like you know you have your bakery store you have your chocolate store you have your um, decor store none of it is just like a big ass Walmart <laughs> but every store over there is like precise to its niche which is beautiful yeah we ended up going into a little into a little alley and we ended up running into a, a restaurant called Maui and my husband and I were always trying new things so um, we ended up eating there and it their food was amazing I'll insert videos now Continuing with day two, you guys, I'm telling you, like we did so much on day two because we were so excited to be in Italy. We ended up going to Piazza del Duomo and this is where the biggest cathedral church, I believe. Now, don't get me wrong. I might be wrong and I'm sorry if I am. I don't mean to offend any Italians out there, but it is a beautiful plaza um, and we ended up just going and looking at the building.
Coming in here, this place is gorgeous. Then we ended up going to La Galeria. Now what this is, it is like a mall, but with just high-end stores. the best gelato there. Then we ended up going into a museum, which I really didn't take a lot of footage of. $5 a piece which wasn't bad a lot of the museums are very cheap and I do recommend you guys go to all museums all cathedrals I swear you will get the best experience best views best building like everything it is it is remarkable the things that they have in there we ended up going to Starbucks reserve roastery I think that's what it's called You can get endless amounts of desserts, coffees, refreshers, anything. It was so beautiful. That was probably one of my favorite places to go because I love coffee. We ended up ending our day in a beautiful hookah lounge and it, I thought it was, I haven't done hookah in a long time. We ended up doing it in Milan, Italy. And you guys, it's one of the safest places I've ever been to. I've never felt unsafe. People do stare at you a lot there. That's how we ended our day and don't forget to stay tuned to part two and we got everything out of the way literally the first couple of days so don't forget to stay tuned okay